Hi guys, this video is all about the three different states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. We're gonna be going through how they're arranged differently in space and how they move differently. Let's get started with solids. The solids are all arranged in a regular arrangement of rows. All of them are touching each other. So all of my particles, my circles, I've drawn touching each other. If we talk about the movement of these particles, because they're so close to each other, the only thing the particles can do is to vibrate very slightly. So the arrangement of solids is that they are close together and they're arranged in a regular arrangement. And the motion is that they vibrate. Now, if we talk about solids and how we know something is a solid, the distinguishing features of solids are that they are in a fixed shape. That means that if I put it in a different container, then the shape of it doesn't change. It's completely fixed. It stays the same. And it also cannot be compressed. So if you put a force on it, the, the shape will not change. If you pay attention to one thing, then it should be this. The liquid particle diagram is the one that students get wrong most often. So, liquid particles are arranged so that they're still really close together, like the solid, but instead of being in rows, they are arranged irregularly. So, you can see that my particles are still, the majority of them are touching each other, but they're not in rows anymore, like they were before with the solid. The way that these particles move is also different. They flow past each other, so they have a little bit more movement than those solid particles did before. The characteristics of a liquid are two key things. Firstly, they fill any container that you put them in. So for some liquids, it might take some time to fill the container, like honey, takes some time to fill the container, and some, like water, you pour and it fills the container immediately. It's also important to realize that liquids cannot be compressed. The gaps between the particles are not big enough to really squeeze those particles any closer together than they already are. Gases are the last ones that we need to deal with in this video. As you can see, the particles in this are super far away from each other, and they have a completely random arrangement. But just the important thing being they're really far away from each other by comparison to a solid and a liquid. In terms of their movement, gases have a lot more energy, so they move a lot faster than the particles in a solid or a liquid. And they're also moving in completely random directions. In terms of how a gas behaves, it, the particles flow, but they also completely fill any container that you put them in. So if you put it into a jar, you know the gas will take up the entirety of the jar. It won't just be sat at the bottom like a liquid would be. Gases are special because they're the only state of matter that can be compressed. That means that if I put a force on it, I can squeeze it into a much smaller space. Okay, that's all for the key features of solids, liquids and gases for today's video.